Hi, my name is Jeff with Armadillo Pepper TV. Somehow we ended up with four extra turkeys after the Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday season this year, and my deep freeze can only hold so much. So today we're smoking a whole turkey in the Masterbuilt Electric Smoker. Now when you're dry brining one of these, the first thing you'll want to do is at least one day ahead of time, just rinse it off good with cold water, and then pat it dry with a paper towel inside and out, which I've already done. Now you can make your dry brine as elaborate as you want, salt, thyme, rosemary, whatever you like. Um, I usually start with a third of a cup, you won't need all of this, and then just lightly sprinkle. Um, you don't want this turkey encrusted. Uh, but you do want the salt pretty much all over it. And you can actually um, you know, rub it in to make sure that you're, you're getting it the way you want it. And you will find some folks will tell you you have to peel back the skin. Um, I'm not going to tell you you have to or you don't have to. I will tell you that I've made this turkey uh, dry brining it just like this through the skin many times. Um, and everyone loves it. You also want to make sure to get the inside of this guy. Just sprinkle some salt around, rub it on the inner cavity. One of the major advantages of the dry brine is you don't have to find a pot um, that's big enough to hold this entire turkey. Um, so it takes up less space in your fridge. Okay, I've got it pretty well covered. I probably used two-thirds of the third cup of salt. Now all I'm going to do is lightly wrap it and put it in the fridge. Now this turkey I actually let it dry brine for two days. You don't have to do two days. Um, you know if you do a little research you'll find um, that the opinions uh, vary but I would suggest you do it at least one day. And now what I'm going to do is I pretty much always use this uh, Texas uh, butter uh, to inject uh, turkey. This one's from Stubbs. Um, they make just the butter and they also make a chipotle that I've used. But this will just help keep the turkey moist and give it some extra flavor um, during the smoking process. All right, I've got a little extra butter left. Um, you, you could just as easily use olive oil. But I'm just going to coat the outside of this turkey and use this to help um, the seasoning that I'm going to put on the outside stick. I typically use olive oil, uh, but like I said, I had a little left over of the butter injection, so I'm just going to use it. And before I put this in the smoker, I'm going to hit it again with this Tennessee Whiskey Goblin Good Turkey Rub. And I did mention that I took this turkey out of the fridge and let it sit for about an hour uh, to come up the temperature. All right, today I've uh, got the smoker set at 225. I'm using mesquite wood. When I've done these in the past, it's anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes a pound. I don't know exactly how much this one weighs. And I suspect it'll take three hours or more. All right, it's been right at three hours and 10 minutes. This guy has reached uh, 166, 167. I'm going to take it out of the smoker and we're going to let it rest for a few minutes. All 
All right, our turkey is rested about 10, 12 minutes. Um, you, you know, you probably should let it rest longer, but quite frankly, I can't wait any longer. I'm just gonna cut in, look, I don't know if you can see that, but the juice is just pouring out of this turkey. Really saw, uh, really moist. <laughs> I think this turkey may be even more moist than the last one I made. Absolutely awesome. Hey, so I just wanted to mention um, with this turkey, I'm having a Christian Moore line. Uh, these are made in Cincinnati, Ohio. The only reason I mention it is because there's another YouTuber out there. His name is Sal over at the Root Boy Cooks. And in all of his recipes, he cooks and he also explains to you a new beer. Um, so if you enjoy, you know, the different kinds of beers, you may want to check Sal's channel out, uh, The Root Boy Cooks. And by the way, he has some great recipes also. So again, my name is Jeff with Armadillo Pepper. I hope you'll try to smoke one of these turkeys. And thanks for watching.